Okay, I'll show you where I'm at. I got a couple things done, a couple steps back, and then I'll show you what I'm working on. Uh, got that foam isolators in there. Um, power steering cooler is in there. Got the lines coming up around. Everything's connected. It's nice. Uh, I started working on an exhaust. I don't have any other pieces, so I started trimming the manifold. Uh, my plan was getting too close to the master cylinder, and uh, it wasn't working too good. So I was going to try a different master cylinder after I swapped proportioning valves, because I still can't get fluid to the back of it. Um, plus, this proportioning valve needs to turn. Um, this one actually sits the other direction, so I'm probably going to end up using this one. Hopefully it works. If not, it's getting eliminated. I'm just going to run it right off the master. Or um, I have two, another master to try from. But I started cutting uh, exhaust manifolds to see which way they would work. That one looked like it was going to work, but the ports are flowing the wrong direction. So I want the flow back. So this is a another passenger side one. So I'm going to run it upside down. The flanges of the, you could flop them. Um, I'm gonna make a like an elbow to go around the back of the head this way, and then it should clear the spark plug wires and everything like that. Um, so I trimmed part of the frame. I can't fit the hose in there, um, not yet. Anyways, got to keep going. Uh, I made this sweet sweet throttle cable. Um, this is the GM uh, case and bracket. I slid the bracket. The bracket mounted here. I slid it back, put the spacer in there. It's nice. Works perfect. Clips into the firewall, clips into the pedal. Um, this is, I'll show you the kit. My dad brought this home from work one day. It's uh, like three feet of cable and it comes with this lock. It's like a one way like it only lock in this way and this way it only lock that way so it's like a loop it's like a one way zip tie kind of deal for cables and it's about the same size so this is the GM side that goes into the throttle body and this side had like a big hook end on it which clearly wasn't going to work for me and then I had excess out the back and I just used uh, uh, if you can see it up here, it clips to the pedal and there's a cable lock in there that I've snugged down, I'll show you another one. But it's one of these, I pulled the cable tight and then I just tightened this down and took some of the slack out and trimmed the cable and now it works just fine. Um, computer is back, here's the kit for the throttle cable. It comes with two of these, this is the excess that I didn't use, this part's the GM cable so you see slightly bigger. Here's the hook end that I cut off the other one. So it comes with two cables. That's the part number and that locking device. So I have an extra cable for something. Um, and I'll show you what I'm working on now. Uh, I actually found a Studebaker center horn that came with a box of stuff that came with the truck. So I'm going to make that fit in there. I'll show you that when it's on there. Um, Shift linkage. Uh, a well little washer on that shifter I showed you. It's part of the horse harness. It's going to mount up here. Uh, like this. It's hard to show. And then you're going to click it down. Like that. And that will put it into reverse, neutral drive, etc. And uh, I'll show you that when it's further along. I'm still milling building the mounts for the shifter and then I can finish the linkage once it's done but it's pretty I should be able to finish that tomorrow it's pretty good okay it's been a couple days since I've been here uh, didn't get much done I got this big ass box full of summit stuff this is most of my order um, lay it out and I'll show you some of it um, trying to remember the last thing I showed you uh, pulled this master off because I didn't like it. Yeah, I don't know if it was working or not, but I have to change this proportioning valve, and it was just getting in the way of me 
building an exhaust. I got a couple pieces in the box to show you of what's actually in there. Showed, I believe, the radiator hose set up. I chopped the frame. Got the, I had this universal hose laying around, so I just tossed it on there. Uh, throttle cable. Uh, shifter set up. Um, having a little problem with it right now. I had it connected at the bottom, but I put an E-clip in there to hold it at the tranny side and if you move it back and forth really fast like six times the e-clip pops off of there and the linkage does nothing now so I'm probably gonna weld the bracket to the actual linkage and I think it'll be a little bit crisper it'll go into gear a little bit better and the other problem was the, I guess maybe the angle of it I'm gonna have to change just the hair because when you pull it into drive it wants to go into third instead, and then when you want to go to click it back, it would end up uh, back in neutral or reverse or something, not where it needed to be. And I'm going to make a couple tweaks on that, but once I get it welded at the bottom side, I think I'll be able just to be able to drive it. Um, get this little center button in there. I found that in a box of stuff that came with the truck. And I just have this red wire loosely... Uh, thrown in there. I'll loom it into the harness a little bit nicer, but I just have it wrapped around the fuel line right now, and then this end goes to right here. I had this hooked up to to power when I had a battery just hanging up here to test it, but that's the foot switch, and if I hook a battery up to this will go into the positive side of the cable along with this cable here, so those will get tied together. And then all you have to do is hook ground up to the motor for the battery and then hit the foot starter and the motor will crank over but and that's up there so that works uh, I have a fuel tank sitting under there now uh, it's gonna mock it up but I got into the middle of something uh, haven't been here been riding motorcycles so I'll pull out some of these parts and show you what I got Okay, we got some uh, Russell's EFI to dash six fittings. This is uh, three eighths, and that's five sixteenths. And then that'll just clip in. That goes to dash six to one of these fittings here. And then this is push lock. I got twenty five feet of push lock hose there. I actually have another thing of push lock coming too to do the transmission. Got forty fives, nineties couple straights. These are supposed to be the radiator fittings. We'll see if those will work. Uh, they look a little big, but I think that's it. And then we got transmission fittings. Fill neck adapter. So I'm going to get built on the header today with these U-bends. I have a couple four foot sections of pipe coming, uh, some more hose, some other stuff. And I'm going to start working on throwing some of this in the truck and building an exhaust. Okay, we got a little bit of progress going on. Uh, manifold's flipped over. Add the elbow to it. I had to put a little filler piece at the bottom. Uh, there was a big gap in the, the rear uh, runner tube to this elbow. Um, I even took a Dremel and ported it out a little bit just so it uh, fit. Just a little... And then a nice bend going down around the transmission. That uh, bend in the center is just about centered with the motor and tranny. Um, so it comes there. This is all one piece. I forgot to order uh, flanges. I'm going to order V-band flanges. I'm going to put a V-band flange there. And then this one, I have this pipe welded there. So I'm going to put a flange there. And then it's a hard bend that way. It goes down a couple inches and then that way. I already have uh, this piece welded up. So it'll sit here and the V-band flange there. And then this will be just under the cross member for the tranny. And then I'll just extend this out. And then I'm going to put another bend After I drop that down lower, it's got to have another little bend here. It's going to go down, and then another 90. And uh, I'm going to have to order another U-bend also. Uh, 
probably gonna have to put the 45 there. I have this 45 here. I'm probably gonna put that there, cut that down somehow. And then I'm gonna run the two pieces of exhaust parallel to each other. And they're probably gonna end at the back of the cab somewhere. And uh, somewhere about here. I'd like to put a muffler in wherever there's room. Like a two to one and then just like a turn down back here somewhere. Nothing crazy, just something simple. I don't think it'll be permanent, just something that'll be quiet enough to take it down the road. Um, I made a list of a couple other things I have to order, flanges. Uh, I also test fit the spark plug wires. I need to see if they make heat shields for it, otherwise I'm gonna make heat shields for them. But the wire will slip through here on the back three cylinders. And uh, that works perfectly fine. I'm gonna, once I get the flange welded on there, that'll be the last time this has to come out. So I'm gonna head or wrap it when I uh, attack that flange in there. Clean up the welds a little bit and uh, head or wrap it just the one side. I have a little bit left over from the V8 in this car. This has long tubes all the way back and they're, uh, they're header wrapped pretty good. So this is just the excess I have on that just to keep it cool a little bit. This is the material I have for a starter blanket. I think they make something like this for the wires, if I remember correctly. So I'll order that. And uh, that's the end of this update for now. Until we get some more parts and uh, whatnot. I'm going to be playing with the gas tank and trying to run fuel lines. and Nothing crazy just yet. Hopefully we get this thing running pretty soon.